Hi, I'm Paul from Abba Stands, and in this instructional video, we're going to show you how to fit and operate the Abba Skylift. Now we're ready to fit the Skylift to the bike. The first thing we're going to do is remove this section of the Skylift, and we'll put this around the other side of the bike so it's close to hand when we go to fit it. We stand the bike upright, raise the side stand, and slide the lift under the bike. At this point, we may need to raise the skylift slightly to come in line with the swing arm pivot. We enter the skylift into the swing arm pivot and lock the brakes. At this point, the skylift will almost keep the bike upright by itself, but we just want to maintain a little pressure pulling against the lift as we walk around to the other side of the bike. We fit this section over the base of the skylift and onto the swing arm pivot. Next we tighten up the black thumb screw nice and securely. And at this point we don't need to worry about the bike as the skylift is holding it up completely. Next we tighten the gold T-bar. This only needs a few turns just to take the slack out of the lift. And then finally we tighten the Allen key bolt. The Allen key provided. stow it away. Now that we have the skylift fitted to the bike, we have the option of lifting the bike in three different positions. The horizontal position, with the bike horizontally to the ground, the wheelie position, with the front wheel high, or the stoppy position, with the rear wheel high. We're now going to show you how to lift the bike in the horizontal position. We enter the rear support bar into the base of the lift, and tighten the black thumb screw. We now want to use the loop of the buckle over the strap mount and tighten against the bobbin. We then pull the safety buckle down as so. If your bike doesn't have a bobbin mount, the strap can be located over the swing arm. Make sure the valve is fully closed and we're ready to lift the bike. We're now going to use the locking pin to lock the bike off at its highest position. So now all the bike's weight is taken on the locking pin. We can now release the brakes and spin the bike around freely. To lower the bike, we need to raise the lift up slightly to take the pressure off the locking pin and then we can lower the bike to the floor. We then release the valve to lower the bike. We're now going to show you how to raise the bike in the wheelie position. To raise the bike in the wheelie position, we first need to raise the rear of the bike a few inches off the floor. We then fit the strap as before, but with the strap mount fitted to the base of the lift. So the loop of the strap goes over the strap mount. We then put the strap over the bobbin adapter and pull tight and the secondary locking buckle pulled up against the strap. We can now lift the bike in the wheelie position.
As before, once you have released the locking pin, simply release the valve to lower the bike to the floor. And finally, we're going to show you how to raise the bike rear wheel high in the stocking position. To do this, we simply raise the lift without the lifting strap attached. When lifting in the wheelie and stoppy position, it's very important to make sure that the underside of the bike doesn't come in contact with the base of the lift. To remove the lift from the bike, we firstly need to remember to lock the brakes, and then come around to the right hand side of the bike, and we loosen the gold T-bar, then we loosen the Allen key, and the black thumb screw. As before, we maintain a little bit of pressure against the lift. We release the brakes. And we can pull the lift away and lower the sides down. So that's our Abba Sky Lift instructional video complete. If you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to get in contact with us. Thanks for watching.